All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, I got uh, something else that I kind of put together and come up with, um, which is this. This is my little quarter wave UHF antenna for GMRS band. That is a 462-467 band. Um, it's quite easy to meet, make. Um, it's basically, there's the inside. You have half inch cap, half inch cap, PVC pipe of some sort. This happens to be a leg to some little cheap furniture thing I had that I destroyed because it was crap. And the caps fit on it. It's fine. So 239 bulkhead. Put the bolt and tab on the outside. Make sure you get the tab. You won't be able to bolt it. Now this is a bolt from this side version. There are no threads on this back side. Not on this model anyway. Uh, I'm sure other ones would fit very tightly in there um, you could always use a three-quarter pipe or something like that if you need more room but yeah basically what I've done the radiating element here in the middle is about six inches long and it goes on that I've used number 12 actually this isn't number 12 it's 14 again number 14 solid copper wire I've made a band around this coming up and then around soldered together. I wrapped it a couple of times and soldered soldered it. And then I've taken six inch piece, a little over six inches because you want to bend these so they'll you can solder them flush on the uh, ribs here. This one's not six inches. Um, that one's a little closer. So you want them to be roughly six inches, same as with the one inside. And these are your ground plane radials, and your aerial is inside. Roughly about six inches should give you a good SWR. Which I can try and demonstrate that. Not terribly sure how this is gonna going to react. Well, it reacts enough to knock the light out. We've got 20 watts forward. And depending on how I move this around, um, here we go. SWR is this way on down there at point one. You know, it's, it's low enough to be acceptable. And this is for GMRS, and this is easily built, and I've designed this off of a kit that they make for the NMO-type stinger antennas that add the uh, radials to it. Um, it's kind of that versus the PVC CB 11 meter uh, antenna where you have the radials that are just wires that you tack out. That considerably is a shrunk down version, which is this uh, 462, 467 megahertz. This one here, the rule I use for GMRS <coughs> antennas, like for use with the Midland MXT400 or something like that, is to tune the antenna to 465 megahertz, or roughly in that area, because that's in between 462 and 467. So that will give you a, a pretty good SWR on 465, which in turn should be pretty equal when down lower or up higher. Um, if you're going to be doing repeater, the transmitter of a repeater on GMRS would be 462, then you'd want to tune your antenna for 462, which in turn the elements would be longer. The receiving antenna, uh, same thing. You might want to use something else for that or you can even use a duplexer with just the one um, so if you're prepping for the apocalypse or this whatever the hell is going on in the world that you think that it might be end up being pretty bad and you want communications with your little general mobile radio service radios 
here you go it is not recommended using or these with FRS radios or modifying FRS radios to use these but do what you want I can't stop you but I feel obligated to say that modifying a FRS radio is to accept an external antenna violates the FCC part 95 a rules and regulations regarding antennas emissions and radiation patterns for FRS radios I don't know all the technical legalities of it I just know that it is illegal to do such things though the chances of them actually finding and enforcing someone with a half watt radio or an external antenna is probably next to nil I personally don't care what you do with your radios just keep in mind that if you take a radio apart and start tooling around adding more antenna you could be violating some kind of law somewhere so with that I am Elf with Elfnet Gaming and this is my homebrewed GMRS base station antenna oh and to mount this simply a hose clamp you would mount it on a metal structure pipe it could be a pipe it could be a piece of rebar it could be anything metal that can give a good ground and earth ground also run a piece of wire into this clamped area that way in kind of like a piece of say wire like so and find my wire cutters and just bend it around make a j-hook on it and then while you're mounting this <coughs> kind of j-hook a wire on the clamp itself if I can get it to line up right kind of like so kind of close to where the radials come into its contact or contact point with the uh, uh, so 239 and run your ground wire down to a proper ground and also have it on something sturdy that you know won't fall over now this thing weighs less than a pound but you're not going to mount this on anything flimsy because wind it will you know move around so yeah that's that's uh my uh tell i don't know what band be. Uh, the gmrs uh band base station antenna you saw what it looked like on the inside that's it if you want to see it again it's just as simple as that now there are formulas and things where you can make half wave versions 5 eighth wave full wave eighth wave whatever I made a quarter wave because it's small and easy um, this could be broken down maybe at some point or maybe even uh, applying a very small hose clamp here instead of all of this just having this tab running up and then a very small hose clamp and then putting the radials in the hose clamp would make up for this copper that would be an improvement to make this even more portable to where you could break it all down stick it all in the tube and put the tube back together and keep the little hose clamp on the thing and so that might be a future upgrade I might show to make modifications to where this would be could be broken down and stowed away in its own radome tube here with you know everything else. And yeah, um, but this is a prototype. This is a prototype. But uh, yeah, um, I might look into that in the next uh, video or so. Until then, guys, I'm Elf, ElfNet Gaming, and I will see you in the next video. And don't forget to like and subscribe and all that nonsense. You know how it works, and I'll see you guys later.